Hey guys, so this is the last episode in the series and in this episode we're just going to be building out the rest of the app, polishing it up, finishing it up, and uh, by the end of the video you'll be able to take a picture, get its state, and then display the picture that you just took to the mobile phone screen. So a pretty cool, uh, pretty basic app that hopefully you can take and expand upon so that it becomes a fully functioning production level app. Um, but in any case, I'll just show you kind of the completed app and thanks for joining us on this seven, seven episode ride through uh, Dart, the Theta API, and um, these great teasers. So we'll hopefully see you on the channel. Give us a like or a dislike if you didn't like the videos. Any feedback is welcome. And um, we are just churning out content over here at Theta360 Developers, so subscribe if you want to get more of that. Um, I'm about to take a picture with the mobile app. I've already connected the mobile phone to the SC2 with Wi-Fi. I'm going to press take picture and it takes a picture. Because I'm using HDR filter, it's still processing. Then I'm going to try to get the image from the camera. And there it is. So with the minimal effort, we have a working mobile app. You can just transfer your Dart files over directly from the command line interface to the mobile app. And so we can extend it. This is a good framework to go and prototype your, um, your functionality that you want in your mobile app. Thanks for joining us.